Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, January 9, 2010. This week, Faded Glory, How to Fade Filters in Photoshop. We all have a pair of favorite jeans. You know, the comfy ones that started out with a deep blue hue, but each memory you've made in them has faded them just a bit. A family picnic, a trip to the museum, pizza and movie nights have rendered them the perfect shade of blue. Like the color of your jeans, you can make your Photoshop filter effect the perfect intensity as well. Last week's tip covered how to multiply filter effects by rerunning them. Today's tip helps you fade the filter down when the effect is too extreme. To begin, open a photo in Photoshop and select Filter from the menu bar. Run a filter by clicking the category and the filter name. Make adjustments in the filter dialog box here, and when you're satisfied, click OK. To fade the effect, press Control shift f On a Mac system, that's Command shift f on the keyboard. This activates the Fade dialog box. With the mode set to Normal, move the Opacity slider to achieve the look you want. When you're satisfied, click OK. Unfortunately, the shortcut only works in Photoshop, so in Photoshop Elements, the best way to fade a filter is to use the Opacity slider feature using these steps. Open a photo and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl-J or on a Mac system, Command-J on your keyboard. Here in the Layers palette, you can see that a copy has been placed on top of the original. Target the photo copy and run a filter by pressing Filter and then choosing the category and filter name. Make adjustments here in the Filter dialog box and click OK when you're satisfied. Decrease the opacity of the filter layer by clicking on the layer and then moving your cursor here to the word Opacity. When you do, your cursor turns into a pointer with a double-ended arrow. Click and drag to the left to decrease the opacity using this scrubby slider, or move to the right to increase the opacity. When you're satisfied, just let go. Some Photoshop users prefer this method since it's a non-destructive way of fading filters. I find the shortcut especially helpful when I've rerun a filter. Sometimes once is not enough, but twice is too strong. Fading the rerun might give you just the concentration that you want. It's a slow fade when you give yourself away. It's a slow fade when black and white have turned to gray and thoughts invade. Choices are made, a price will be paid.